You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for Atheist voices all around the globe. My primary problem with the belief in a supreme being, even by those who act kindly to others, is that such belief in superstitious nonsense gives credibility to others whose belief leads them to do truly horrible things. Hello, my friends. I am from Bangladesh, and uh, I am from an extreme Muslim family. My parents are Muslim for that. uh, They sent me to an Islamic education institute for education. And uh, I studied I studied in a Kaumiya Madrasa and uh, memorized the Quran. But uh, one day I found that the Islamic religion is totally, you know, the religions are false and uh, Islamic religion is, especially the Islamic religion is uh, torturing women too much. They're torture, torturing all women without any reason. So I don't want my mom and my sister or my any cousin women to be tortured by religion. I don't want that. So for that, uh, I started uh, working again on that uh, religion. But uh, people, uh, because uh, I, I was from an extreme Muslim family, for that uh, the local leader, leaders of Havazid Islam, because I am from a big, uh, uh, I am educated from an from a big uh, institute, big educational institute of Hafizat Islam in Kaumi Madrasa. So, for that, uh, the leader leaders of Hafizat Islam decided to kill me, and uh, they tried to kill me. And uh, then I, you know, um, I write an, a, a book. I started writing a book. Uh, against uh, the religion, against uh, uh, why they are torturing the women without uh, any reason. Why women should be tortured by the religion. So I I completed the book and I sent uh, to my friend to publish the book. But uh, the people of Hafizat Islam, they... Uh, you know, they hacked my comp- uh, my friend's computer and they got the book. They, then uh, they, they killed my friend. And uh, uh, I was away from my home and uh, they destroyed my computer. And uh, uh, then I uh, got out of the country. So I am in outside of Bangladesh now, and uh, I badly need to write the book again. So my atheist friend, please try to help me. Uh, I need to write the book again, and I am out of the country. I am, you know, they are searching to kill me. And, uh, I am out of everything. So please, my friend, uh, here uh, with my voice message, I am sending my email. So email me. I badly need your help. I need to write the book. I need to work for the women in Bangladesh. There is too many women. It's a populated country. Too many women. All Muslim women are, women are being tortured by the religion. So please. Please, please, as the, uh, as a humanist, as an atheist, please work with me. Please help me to work for the for our women. You don't uh, have any idea about uh, how our women how being tortured. They are our people, our sister, our mom, our everyone. We need to help them. We need to release them from the torturing, from torturing of the religion.
So please. Um, hello, Atheist Republic. Um, for some you know, obvious purposes, I don't really want to reveal who I am. I am um, from Africa, though, and that'll hopefully narrow it down. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I've been a, a subscriber for a while now, and uh, I've been going through your videos and your perspectives, and I kind of went through some of your ebooks that you uh, that you you know have in your uh, in those uh, disc disclaimer option things that you the links that you go to to download ebooks about why there's no God and such. Um, yeah, uh, I was writing a paper on how my kind of people are are going extinct, and when I mean my kind of people, I, I mean atheists and and some agnostics. Uh, I look at the world now and I see this discrepancy between the religious and the atheists and it's it's not easy to say but i can honestly say that the religious people are are, uh, are beating us because they they have something that that we may never have uh, they have purpose and they have conviction and even though it may be on very shaky and false foundations um these people possess something that, that we don't, that, which is very essential to human life. Uh, I don't know who said this, but uh, um, I think it was some, some scientist. He said, to whomever has a why, there's always a how. And um, these people, these religious people have a why. They have a why of, of why they're born, why they're doing certain things and, and why things are the way that they are, even though they're, you know, false, but they believe it. And they've now managed to do so many things. Um, did you know that in, I think, a few decades, um, Islam is going to be the biggest religion in the world? And do you know that how many people commit suicide because of nihilism? And most of these nihilistic people are actually on the atheist agnostic side. Um I feel like if, if you guys want to, and this is not like a confession of how I lost my path to God and, and whatnot, um, I did in my own way, uh, and uh, I found something that's better for me, and it worked for me, yes, but I look at other people who've lost that same thing, but what replaced it? Um, religion just didn't spring up from the ground just for no purpose whatsoever, and people just didn't accept it because, you know, because they had nothing else to do, they accepted it because it, it offers something significant and very valuable. And when you lose something so essential to human life, and scientists have proved this, by the way, that even human babies have this uh, vulnerability towards religion. They, they have this need for religion. And uh, when you look at our biology, even from like an evolutionary bio biology biological perspective, we need something to believe in. And I feel like you guys as a republic or as a channel or a website or whatever should offer a better way for, for atheists and for agnostics to live and to find purpose and meaning in their lives. Because in the end, it's, it's a very cold world out there without, well, without God, to be honest. Um, it took me a while to, to realize this and, and I found my own version of, of what I need for, for, for that particular thing. But uh, I hope you guys figure out a way to, well, um, you know, guide all these people that, that you want to prove to whom there is no God and there, there is no Christianity and there is no Islam and, and, and such and such. And what else are you offering them? Like, how would they, how are they supposed to live their lives from now? You know, what's right, what's wrong? These things matter. I'm not saying that there is no such thing as secular morality. And, and, I, and I'm a fervent believer in secular morality. I think it's a real thing. But human beings need to guide in, in a way, in a path, in, in a culture, in, in a tradition of doing things. And religion has offered that for, for two millennia, <laughs> 2,000 years. And I mean, speaking from the Christian perspective, that is. And uh now it's no longer serving us and we need to replace it with something. And question is what? 
you look at the world and, and how it's divided and what more people are thinking. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.